So when people say, how do I change my life? Well, you change those words. I wouldn't go to school because you learn nothing about money in school. Ask, I wouldn't get a job because if I have a job, I'm an employee. And then I'd pay taxes. And I don't pay taxes. And I don't save money. And I use debt to get rich. And I don't invest in the stock market. That's why I'm rich. So to the young people, I just say challenge or question what you've been taught. So when you, when you wonder why so many people struggle financially, is they haven't challenged the hypnosis, the words, go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, get paid taxes. Until you question those hypnotic trances, you don't change. Old guys like me, they get angry at me. So I've done that all my life. I said, yeah, that's why you're poor. Well, money is a powerful force, as you know. So my rich, when I was nine years old, growing up in Hawaii, I asked my rich dad to be my teacher, my mentor, you know, be an apprentice to him. He says, then I'll never pay you. He says, if I pay you, you think like an employee. And so, and wait a minute. So I had to think differently. And that's what I'm challenging the millennials right now is, you have a chance yet. Don't wait till you're an old guy like me to find out my pension is gone. I just wanted a bigger challenge. And a bigger challenge would be to be an entrepreneur because I'd have to learn new things. I'd have to learn 10 times more than ever than a, being a pilot. It's the combination of debt and taxes. You see, the more debt I use, the less tax I pay. When I talk to young people, I say, look, it's a team sport. So the first person I have is a bookkeeper. Bookkeeper is the lowest paid person on my team, but the most important. Right. The bookkeeper then keeps the accurate records that my accountant can use, and my attorney can use, and my banker can use. That's the combination there. And my banker, my attorney, and my accountant must work together as a team. Most people, their bankers, accountants, and attorneys don't work for those teams because in school, we're taught to take our tests on our own. If you ask for help, you're cheating. In my world, it's called cooperation. And what I found with most smart people, they don't know how to cooperate. Mm. They don't know how to ask for help because in their brains, that's cheating. It means you're stupid. It means you're weak. Because they've been hypnotized and go to school, get a job, work hard, pay taxes. Yeah. Until they change those words, their lives are not gonna change. So they get angry, but they're angry at the words in their head. The biggest thing about fake is, you know, the, the dollar became fake, the US dollar became fake money in 71. But it's the fake teachers. Why would you listen to a poor person? Why would you listen to a poor person about money? And that was my poor dad, very good man, PhD, but he always says, go to school, get a job, work hard, pay taxes, get out of debt, and invest in the stock market. He's trying to hypnotize me. And my rich dad, thank God I had a rich dad, he goes, you gotta be an idiot to follow that advice. But if, if you don't know accounting, you don't have accountability. Yeah. You know, you have accountability in your life. And then you can question when somebody tells you to invest in the stock market, I go, well, when do I get my money back? I never use my money. I don't need to save money. I use debt 100% of the time, and I don't pay taxes. So, you know, so when I say I don't pay taxes, then this whole, th you're cheating, you're a crook, you're a criminal comes up. Hmm. And then they can't hear me. And I talk about trade, you know, investing. I invest as an insider. And for the average person who knows very little, they say, well, insider trading is illegal. No, it's not. But they've been programmed to think it's illegal. There are certain forms of investing where insider trading is illegal. But for the most part, it isn't illegal. Yeah. And this is the difference. Crashes make the rich richer. So what happens is, there's an old saying in investing, the bear goes up, the, I mean, the bull goes up the stairs. So it's bulls and bears, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the bull goes up the stairs, the bear goes out the window. So if you want to get rich quick, I, I like the crashes. And my rich dad said, 
you have to learn about debt and taxes. So I took a real estate course. Mm. I, still, I say the same thing. Take real estate courses. Take stock, stock trading courses. You know, uh, I take bond courses. I just learn about the game of money. It's a game. But you have to make mistakes to learn. But our schools punish you for making mistakes. And then they also punish you for asking for help because that's called cheating. I call it cooperation. This, my study has been li a lifelong study. So I don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm making money as we're speaking right now. I have 7,000 real estate properties. I have oil wells. I have golf courses. I have a commercial buildings. So money's just pouring in whether I work or not. But I'm still studying because that's how the money keeps pouring in. <laughs> Rich get richer because what we do is legal. But you've been told it's illegal. Amazing. Say so not paying taxes is legal if you're an entrepreneur, but it's illegal if you're an employee.